Uh, so today we are gonna clean some decoys. We uh, had a pretty muddy hunt today, honestly. Uh, there were some guys that were hunting the hole that we hunted last night and it just happens tracking a bunch of water in and, in and out. So we got some dirty decoys. We're gonna show you guys how we clean them, uh, what we found the most effective way possible. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Uh, so really, we, we like to use this spray. Um, all we do, or I guess all I like to do, uh, get the water so it's like a little bit warmer, fill it up about halfway to, I don't know, two thirds. Maybe that's a little much. Um, and then we use vinegar. Uh, so I was, I was actually reading a uh, DU article and they were talking about how uh, soap um, is like a UV brightener and I guess ducks are able to see ultraviolet waves or rays, whatever it is. Um, and then so vinegar is a good cleaning solution that is not, that is not a UV brightener. And it still helps kind of dissolve some of the dirt and stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's really just uh, warm water and just regular old vinegar. Um, I think the acidity helps it kind of stay, it helps it helps the dirt dissolve off of it a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we just take the uh, the spray that he showed you how to uh, mix up. Just, I mean, it's pretty simple. You spray it on there. Pretty healthy amount, honestly. You can see like right here once you spray it on there, help just the color difference. The sun might be better, but you can kind of see the difference there. We just spray it all on there. We don't ever let it sit, um, and we just brush it in a, in a circle like this. Just make sure you get everything good. Preferably like definitely before the season, just get everything cleaned up um, and then kind of as needed. We probably don't do it as much as we'd like, but definitely as needed, I'd say, honestly. Probably should do it. Yeah, we, we should do it more often, I think, because I think it makes a huge difference like, even today, like just looking at the spread, it looks so much more realistic. Yeah. But once we do that and scrub it, you just take it and just dunk it in the water excess mud and stuff that the brush got. You just kind of repeat that, keep doing that until, uh, until all your decoys are clean. Um, so after we brush it, dip it, uh, we like to let it dry and then we take uh, just like armor roll wipes, um, wipe it down as just like a final, final clean sort of deal. Uh, pretty simple, easy, quick process. Just wipe everything down um, and then really you're, you're good to go. So the, the armor all really helps on, especially on cloudy days, it kind of helps bring out that shine a little bit. Uh, brings that like extra little pop of color that's sometimes needed. Because uh, I mean, we are using decoys, like we use them for a couple seasons and they start to get old and beat up and dirty. So it's nice to have a little bit of a color pop uh, come out, especially on cloudy days for us. Um, so here you can see the, you see the difference between the cleaned versus the uncleaned. I mean, it, it makes a huge difference in just giving them a quick little wipe down. It's something that I think it's overseen um, and just like taking care of your decoys. I mean, this, this is, this is kind of absurd to be honest. Um, and you know, you just pick up your decoys in the morning and throw them out. You don't think anything else of it. Um, and then here is two different colors. You know, this is brown. This is like gray. This is the same exact decoy. So I think cleaning them really helps. Um, just one of those kind of like fine tuning type of deals that we like to do.